Central and the absence of evil comedy tour, Raj Sharma. Your host for the evening is, is a radio personality on 104.1 KRT Q in town, Dave Mangarelli. But ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage a special guest of the evening. He's from your group, the Professor Fresno. Give it up for Donnie Gooch. Come on! Just ain't like it used to be. You know, I walked in there the other night and the guy, first thing he got points in my belly and he said, man, that looks like a corona or a bug belly. And I go, well, there's a tap right below it if you want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm over there chatting chat with some gal uh, and, and she says, you know, if you get a haircut and lose those glasses and lose a few pounds, you'd look all right. And I said, well, if I did that, I'd be talking to your friends over there instead of you. <laughs> Same night, I'm sitting there, and this fat chick gets up and starts dancing on the table. And I looked over at her, and I said, man, nice legs. And she goes, you really think so? I go, hell yeah, a regular table would have collapsed. <laughs> Still a man around the house, you know. He he runs a remote control. <laughs> he got the remote in his hand. He was watching TV one night. He's going from the porn channel to the fishing channel, to the porn channel to the fishing channel. Finally, Angie says, Nick, leave it on the porn channel. You already know how to fish. <laughs> Yeah, these two 90-year-old men, you know, I, I used to tell a joke, 80-year-old, but I think I might have been somebody. <laughs> and these two 90-year-old 90, men, they were playing checkers, and one of them says, hey, I'm going to give you a piece of ass tonight, let's call this the last game. And he said, bullshit, I ain't been able to get it up in 10 years, man, I know you can. He goes, man, all you got to do is eat a piece of wheat bread and get hard as a rock. And he said, really? He said, yeah. Man, that other old man, he went down to the supermarket the next morning and grabbed 12 loaves of wheat bread. And he stuck it up on the counter of his little 25-year-old boy and said, don't you think it'll get hard before you eat it all? <laughs> he goes, everybody knows but me. Debbie, we raised two daughters, so when I was about 25 years old, I went and checked out in the same asylum because I figured that's where I'd end up. Anybody <laughs> raised daughters, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, I walk in there, man, and we're looking through there, you know, and I look in this one door, and this guy acts like he's swinging a baseball bat, you know, and I said, who are you? He said, I'm Babe Ruth. Next time I hit a home run, they're going to let me go. I go to the next one, and this guy looks like he's swinging a golf club. I said, who are you? He said, I'm Arnold Palmer, and the next time I hit a hole in one, they're going to let me go. I said, wow, man, this place is something. So I go to the next one, and this guy's got a bag of walnuts. You know, he says, yeah. I go, who are you? He said, I'm fucking nuts. And I don't know.
four o'clock in the morning and says, you know what, I'm just gonna go for a job. Nobody will even know I'm gone. I ain't gonna tell them Secret Service or nothing, I'm just gonna go. So he goes out and he's jogging along the Potomac River, fell in the river, fell in. Man, these two young boys go over there, they dig him up out of there. He said, you saved, you boys saved my life. I owe you something real special. He said, what can I get for you? For you? And the first little boy said, I want a brand new SUV for my mom. And he said, you'll get it. You'll get that car. And he said, how about you, son? What would you like? And he said, I want to be buried in the Arlington Cemetery. He goes, wow, you're so young, son. Why would you be worried about that? He goes, well, my dad finds out I saved your life. <laughs> shots of Jack Daniels hang over me. My head hurt so bad for about 10 days. A buddy of mine, old money started me. He come to visit me, black fella. He tried to cheer me up. He says, hey, he says, what would you call a black man flying an airplane? I said, yeah, money. I said, I don't know. He said, a pilot, you racist son of a bitch. <laughs> smoke-filled room, man. The fire chief walks in and he said, what the hell is going on? He goes, well, he, he had smoke inhalation. He said, you're supposed to get him out the mouth. He said, how do you think all this shit got started? <laughs> <laughs> this this middle-aged lady, she goes into the porn shop. She's looking around, you know, and she goes, hey, uh, how much for that one? He said, well, the white one, they're $10. <coughs> well, how much for that one there? And he said, well, the black ones, they're so much bigger. I get $20 for those. She goes, well, how much you want with that one up there on the top shelf? Oh. He turned around and looks up there and he says, man, I have to get 40 bucks for that one. She goes, I'll take that one. So she buys it and leaves. About an hour later, the owner of the store calls and says, how's business? He goes, man, I ain't sold nothing all day but my thermos. <laughs> Good evening.